This YouTube studio is fake. I'm going to show you how to create this on your mobile phone using the CapCut mobile app. I've already shown how to create this on the CapCut PC, but majority of you are having issues with the mobile app. So in this video, I'm going to break down how to achieve this on your mobile phone. But I want you to know that the entirety of this video will be done on the mobile phone. So let's get into it. Now, to achieve this, you need to follow these three steps. You need to follow these steps accordingly so that you have a nice video. Step one, make sure you record yourself close to a plain wall. What you just want to achieve is a nice video we can easily remove the background and for something like the CapCut mobile app to actually identify your background there has to be a clear separation between you and the background and to achieve this is either you record yourself close to a plain wall with no object in the background or you record yourself in your room and you have to be far away from the background of the video and make sure that there is no other object close to you you can have your microphone attached to a microphone arm and you can still record and you can still remove the background and you can also hold your microphone just like the way i'm holding this microphone right now so what i just want you to know that for able to achieve this you just have to be far away from the background there just has to be a clear separation between you and the background if you're using an iphone 13 or above to record yourself there's what we call the cinematic mode in the iphone that you can use to just create a blurry background just to have the blurry background but if you don't have an iphone if you're using your android phone you can also create your videos but you just have to be far away from the background so there'll be a clear separation between you and the background because if there's no if there's no clear separation between you and the background this is the way your video will look like if you are using a plain wall, you want to make sure that the clothes you are putting on match does not match the background. Because if the clothes you are putting on resembles the background, your video will look like this. Because like this video, the background is grey and the clothes I am putting on also has grey colour. So that's why this video is looking very bad and looking like this. So what you just want to achieve is a clear separation between you and the background. So you just have to find an angle in your room whereby you are far away from the background or the background is just a plain wall. Now the second thing you want to keep in mind is the lighting. Right now I'm sitting in front of my window. It's a bright day. I'm just sitting in front of my window without using any light at all. In the previous video, I used my tube light to record myself but in this video right now, I'm only using the light coming from the window. Just make sure that they, you have a good lighting on the subject which is you so that your videos can rhyme with the background. So you just have to make sure that there is enough light facing you. Then you have to record yourself. Now while recording yourself, make sure that your phone is on a tripod stand. Right now my phone is on a tripod stand while I'm recording myself. You don't want your phone to be shaking all the time so that you can have a smooth video. Now that you recorded your video with good lighting and you've also made sure that there is a clear separation between you and your background, now you can now go ahead to download your background image and also edit your video. So let's get into it. Step 2. Download a background image. You can either use FreePix or any other website that provides free images. You just have to tell it the type of background you want. And you can also use AI to generate one if you want an image specifically for you and not an image used by someone else. We'll be using Leonardo.ai in this video since we used FreePix in the previous video. So all you have to do is head over to Leonardo.ai. If you don't have an account, you can create one. I already have an account so I will just head over to Menu then Launch App. Log in with either your email or password or using Google Login which is what I will just use. After login, you will be brought to this screen. Click on Menu. Then under User Tools, click on Image Generation. Here is where we will be generating a background image for ourselves. You should know that you are given 150 free coins per day. Each image you generate will cost you 8 coins. When you exceed your daily limit, you can either upgrade by paying or wait the next day. What we just want to do is to input a prompt, just telling the AI the kind of image we want. I will enter a prompt right now for the AI to generate a YouTube Studio background for us. You can check the description for the prompt, then I will click on generate. So these are the images generated. I will enter one more prompt. Again, you can find the prompts I entered in the description below. So these are the images generated for us. You can simply download the images by clicking on this download icon. I will just download all of the images. The images generated are not in the 16 ratio 9 format, which is the standard format for YouTube videos. So we will have to use a free tool to resize the image. So let's head over to Canva to resize our image. You can also use CapCut app to resize, but to keep it simple, let's just use Canva. When you log in to Canva, click on this plus icon. Then click custom size. Enter 1920 by 1080. 
1920 1080 then create new design next upload your images let's edit the images one at a time bring the image to canva then you can start adjusting the image till it fits into the canva you can adjust the image the way you want depending on the look you prefer you can as well add some other objects to your image just go to element to type in whatever you want to add for me i'll just add this free subscribe button and then display it on the tv in the image when you are done click on the download button to download your image you can as well do the same for other images now that we have our background image let's head over to CapCut to edit our video which takes us to step three so go to CapCut, click new project then go to photos and then pick one of the image we just edited with canva next click on overlay then click on the video we want to edit what i like to do is to cut the video to where it actually begins and cut the last part of the video where i just stand up from my chair to stop the video then drag the video to the beginning you can as well adjust your video to fit the screen next click on the video then in the menu below here you click on cut out then click on remove background you just have to wait a few minutes for the background to be removed you can also extend the image to the end of the clip something i love to do is also to blur the image background by clicking on effects then video effects search for blur choose this first one that pops up then you can adjust the blur to your taste i'll just keep it at around 19 20 or the about lastly drag the blur effects to fill the whole timeline if you're happy with the video click on this icon to download then click on save to device and you have this if you find this video helpful, hit the like button and also subscribe to this channel if you want to know how to level up your videos and everything about YouTube. You should know that using the mobile app is not as good as the CapCut PC because the edges look too sharp and you might not have a very good cutout but it still works great. So that is it for this video. If you want, to, if you want more videos like this showing you how to level up your video creation, make sure you subscribe to this channel, hit the like button so that this video gets more people. I will appreciate that. My name is Victor Smith. I'll see you guys in the next one.